Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie and I'm a graphic designer. Here on my YouTube channel I use Illustrator to create illustrations, 3D simulations, and branding. Let's get started. Today we will design a cat, a black cat, using geometric shapes. So let's start with the ellipse tool. Select it. I'm gonna create an ellipse. And then I'm going to, oh, sorry, let me fix this, okay. Then I'm going to manually move it, turn it a little bit, and deform it by making it taller. Okay, this is more or less the shape that I want to start out with. Using the direct selection tool, I'm going to move these anchor points, so I'm going to be distorting this, uh, this ellipse a little bit so it's flatter on the bottom okay so this is going to be mm, the body of the cat which we're going to cut out the legs and then add the head and the tail so now I'm going to create another ellipse I'm going to change the fill color to none so I can see underneath it, or through it. Now while this is selected, I'm going to drag and copy to make a, another one, and drag and copy again to create a third one. This third one, I'm going to deform and make it bigger, taller, whiter, and these other two on the sides are going to remain small. Now if you really have good imagination, maybe you can kind of try to figure out the cat in here, the cat body. It still doesn't have a head or a tail. <clears throat> so I changed all the fill colors of the shapes to none. Now using the pen tool, I'm gonna create a curvy line, which is gonna be the tail. To create a curved line, you click on the artboard, then you click a second time, and you pull in the direction you want your um, curve to go. Okay, now with the ellipse tool, I'm going to create another um, ellipse, which is going to be the head. And with the polygon tool, I'm going to create a triangle by creating a polygon with three sides. I'm going to position it here, drag and copy, and these are going to be the ears. I'm going to uh, create the eyes now. So create an ellipse, then using the Using the anchor point tool, I'm going to click on the right and left anchor point to make it kind of um, kind of an angle. Now I'm going to create another ellipse, which is going to be the uh, center part of the eye. I'm going to select both shapes. And uh, now we're going to introduce the shape builder tool okay so while this is selected I'm going to click once on the what will be the white part of the eye once on what will be the black part by clicking I've created some shapes and then while holding alt I'm going to click on the part of the shape that I want to delete so I'm going to select the white part of the eye and change the fill color to white and then uh, this other black one, I'm just going to add this stroke because the fill is going to stay black. Okay, so now we have one eye. We're going to select both shapes, drag, and make a copy while dragging. And then select everything and position it here on the head. Now I'm going to use the pen tool to create a curve line, which is one whisker. Then <laughs> I'm going to... Turn it a little bit, okay, uh, make a dragged copy with the second line and make it smaller. So we're going to put two whiskers here, and then I'm going to select them. I'm going to select one, and while holding shift, I'm going to select the second one, and that's how you select two shapes. While they're selected, I'm going to go here to the reflect tool, double click on it to open the panel, and reflect horizontally copy that way it creates a copy now I'm going to select all of four of them again change the stroke color to white leave the fill to none 
So I'm gonna select these triangles, just the top points with the direct selection tool, the two top points, and I'm gonna round them down a little bit. Now that we have the head, I'm gonna select all the components and I'm going to group them. So once I've, I'm gonna select them all, position them where I want them, turn them, just so it looks a little bit better. Object group. So now when I select the head, it's gonna select all the components of the head. Now I'm gonna select the tail here, change the uh, stroke width to 30 points, and then I'm gonna change it to rounded ends. Now the fun part, let's get to the body. So I'm going to use the, uh, the pen tool to create a line that starts from the head and curves onto the body here. Inside I'm just going to make a random shape and I'm going to let this line continue here. So this will be like a paw, see, but it's going to still follow the uh, first shape that I created and then it's going to turn again and go back onto the head. So we kind of have a neck here, and we can see the paw. Okay, and to create this shape that I um, created with the pen tool, uh, I'm moving the anchor points here so that it follows that first ellipse that I created for the body, and uh, it keeps aligning uh, with these other ellipse smaller ones here that are supposed to be separating the paws. So now I'm going to create this other shape using the pen tool, which is going to be the second paw. And now a third paw. <clears throat> As you can see, they're all lined up on the bottom. Every shape that I create with the pen tool, I close. I do not leave them open. And here, last but not least, the fourth paw. Okay. The anchor points of these shapes that I've created with the pen tool, uh, as I said, follow those guideline shapes that I created in the beginning. So now I'm going to select, I'm going to turn these, everything black except for these, these three ellipses here that I'm going to turn with the fill white, and then I'm going to arrange, bring them to front. All the other ones, um, all the other shapes that are part of the body, I turn to a uh, black fill. Okay, now I'm just gonna adjust. I'm gonna zoom in, and then I'm going to adjust these ellipses here so um, there's no gaps on the paw lines. So, because I'm going to select all these shapes, not the head or the tail, just the body shapes and the neck one, and using the shape builder tool. I'm going to click and drag on all of these, uh, this part that's going to become the body and the paws of the cat. Okay, then, always while everything is selected, I'm going to hold Alt to subtract these other shapes that uh, I don't need anymore. They were just kind of like guideline shapes. Okay, now I'm going to uh, delete these little parts here that are left over. Obviously, you know, as I say in all my videos, this isn't the only way. I could have just used, I don't know, the pen tool uh, to draw the cat or, I don't know, used uh, better shapes and just combine them. Um, but I did want to introduce the shape builder tool in this video because I don't think I've introduced it in, some, in my other videos yet. Okay, so now let me move this to check if there's anything left over, and there is. There's this, which I'm going to combine it, and I'm going to move it, okay, delete this, okay, now we have the body. I'm going to use uh, the pen tool here to delete some of these extra anchor points that I don't need, that way, um, the shape will look smoother too.
I'm just going to use a subtract anchor point with the pen tool and click on the points that I want to remove. Okay, then with the direct selection tool, I'm going to click on the anchor points that I want to adjust. I'm going to click on them and adjust the curves. Always to make uh, the design look smoother. And uh, you know, with these simple drawings, the less anchor points there are, the better. There's no, there's no sense in having a bunch of anchor points we don't need. The simpler, the better. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> Here we have our cat. Now I'm gonna select the tail, which is still a stroke, and expand it. So it becomes a shape, and then I'm going to select the body with the tail and go to Pathfinder Unite. So now it's all one shape. Now I'm going to use the ellipse tool again to create a small ellipse with a white stroke, no, with a white fill and no stroke. I'm going to turn it a little bit, drag to make a copy so that there's two of them. Okay, and this is just to decorate the end of the paws a little bit. So now I'm going to select both of them, to make a copy while dragging, and then select all four, make a copy while dragging to bring to the back paw. Now let's adjust the head a little bit. This um, I'm going to move the ear a little bit. I'm going to make this part of the head smoother so it looks like a continued line so that there isn't this curve here since the cat's head is turning uh, we're gonna make it a little bit um, from a side view so we're gonna fix first of all the neck here okay the ear I already moved this other ear is okay where it is and make sure that these anchor points align and then I'm gonna have to move the eye a little bit the eye and the whiskers. I'm going to select all of these, turn them a little bit, then I'm going to deselect this part of the eye and the whisker, and this part here I'm going to move it over. There we go. That looks better. Okay, and here's our kitty cat. Now these whiskers I'm going to change the stroke width to 2 and change the stroke to uh, pointy ends. So now we are pretty much done. I need to <clears throat> subtract these uh, ellipses that we added here on the paws because they're still sep uh, separate shapes at the moment. Let me adjust this. Now I'm going to select uh, all these shapes. <clears throat> Oh, wait, and before I do that, I'm going to ungroup the head because I'm going to select all the black parts, so the ears, the head, everything but the black part of the eyes, and I'm going to merge it with the rest of the cat. Then I'm going to use the Shape Builder tool to subtract these ellipses here from the a shape that creates the cat. So now it's all one shape. See, if I change the uh, shape to just a stroke, you can see that it's one shape. The only shapes that are uh, there besides the cat outline are the eyes and the whiskers. So now I'm just going to add some decorations. I'm going to create like this little line here with a red stroke on the ears, one on one ear and one on the other. Here I'm going to create kind of like a star shape, change it to a purple, round just the outer points. Okay. And then I'm going to drag and copy, drag and copy, make them all different shapes. 
then I don't know I'll put some uh, decorations here on the tail too dragon coffee move these just so they follow the tail curve and afterwards I'm going to select them all and create a ship which I'm going to fill with the yellow color. There we go. And I'm going to speed this up just because I'm going to add a few lines here. I'm figuring out the colors. I might change them. I don't want to put too many colors. I'm going to create kind of like a little heart. Add here at the tip of the tail. Mm. I don't want to add too much. And as I said, I don't want to put too many different colors. So let's see. Let's keep it pretty simple here. Okay, so then once uh, you're satisfied with your cat, with the decorations, uh, everything else, uh, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle that covers the entire artboard. Then while it's selected, arrange, uh, right click on the mouse, arrange center back. This is what the cat would look like on a back, uh, black background with a white stroke. But um, no. Control Z to go back, turn the cat the way it was. I'm going to change the black rectangle that's in the background to a yellowish. Then I'm going to select all the parts that compose the cat. Go to Object Expand twice and then I'm going to scale the cat down. Then drag to create a copy and click Control D as many times as you want to repeat the last operation. So then when you have all the cats, select them all drag and copy again and I'm just gonna drag and copy these because there's a cat missing here I'm gonna delete the extra cats now I'm gonna select all of them I'm gonna create an, a group them create another rectangle on the front here color it black and while everything is selected I'm gonna create a mask and here is our cat pattern I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook, and stay updated for more videos.